Here we have a thermoelectric generator. This generator uses substantial differences in heat energy to produce electricity. Uh, this item will generate electricity enough energy to power the little DC motor and fan on the top. You can see that it has dual outputs uh, on the bottom of the switch uh, so that the output voltage can be monitored using a separate device and that way you can see how much uh, energy uh, is produced at what uh, gradient by measuring the temperatures and variations as such. I'm going to demonstrate this by using uh, water with the same temperature. And you can see I've got room temperature water. And I'm going to wait five minutes here and then come back and see if anything has happened. Okay, after about five minutes of elapsed time, nothing has happened. No energy is apparently generated as uh, these two waters are the same temperature. So we're going to try. Uh, I've got a bottle here of cold water and I'm going to take one of these beakers of room temperature water, pour it out, and substitute it substitute in cold water, chilled water. And I just pulled this out of the fridge a couple minutes ago. So it still ought to be nice and cold. And I'm going to do another lapse video spot here. So I'm going to put the generator in. You can see the one beaker is in room temperature water at the right. And on the left, you see the cold water. I'm going to wait five minutes, and then we'll come back and see if anything has happened. Okay, about three minutes have passed. The fin in the left, of course, is still in the cold water. And you can see that uh, it's still not spinning. But if I attempt to turn the fan blade in a clockwise way or a clockwise manner, I'm uh, getting a lot of resistance here. Um, and if I go counterclockwise, uh, it seems to be wanting to uh, start. So what I'm going to do is wait another couple minutes and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, I've got about a seven minutes total elapsed time. You can see the fan has begun to spin, spinning counterclockwise direction. Okay, next what I'm going to do is substitute the room temperature beaker right here on the right with I'm going to pour this room temperature water out and substitute in hot water. I've used a microwave. It still should be nice and hot. And what I'm going to do is stick this back down in there. Now, what we should expect is the fan should turn in the same direction at a faster rate. I'm going to come back here in about three minutes and we'll see what happens. Total time elapsed has only been about a minute. You can see the fan is really going strong now. Uh, plenty of uh, current, uh, substantial uh, difference in temperature here uh, between the cold water and the hot water. And again, uh, measurement ports are on the side here. Uh, if you would like to uh, take the current or the uh, voltage output, you simply switch the switch there, and uh, you can redirect that to the positive and negative terminals on the side here. Uh, We're not going to do that today for this experiment. I've got it running. What I'm going to do is turn the water, turn the whole device around, and then I'm going to switch the hot and cold, and let's see what happens if we can get this device to stop and then spin in the opposite direction. We still have counterclockwise movement here. The heat energy has to travel up through these aluminum conductors here. They're heavy duty aluminum conductors and uh, you can see the fan beginning to slow at this point. Um, 
Let's see. If, there it is stopped. And let's give it a little bit of a help there in the clockwise direction. Let's see if it's still wanting to go in counterclockwise. Really doesn't feel like it wants to go either way at this point. Uh, of course, it's only been about 30 seconds or so since we started this. What I'm going to do is come back again. I don't want to take too much time. And we'll see what happens after about three minutes. Total elapsed time is about two minutes, and you can see we start uh, the fan is starting to turn, albeit it's pretty slowly at first. Uh, but you can see it's it's uh, gradually picking up speed there as we go. And uh, again, I want to stress that uh, the the voltage can be monitored here, and and as the as can be the uh, temperature gradient using a thermometer. In each of the beakers. So this is a really fascinating, really neat uh, exercise. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you visit SciSupply.com. That's S-C-I hyphen supply.com. Thank you.